I have seen a sign. The day I have seen our guest. I have seen God in them. So all the people of Muhammad. I wish you all to come and follow this crusade. Miracle will happen. And all the miracles will happen to each and everyone here. We welcome you all. We thank God, the creator of heaven and earth, for he gave us a wonderful moment like this in Muha Commune, in the city of Buchumbura. I want to ask you all to clap your hands for Jesus. Thank you. I want to walk you through once you have a change of mind then you'll have a change of affections the things that your heart is so attached to it's not some of those could be good but some of those are not from the Lord and so I'm going to walk you through okay we're letting go of the mind and I want to have a change of heart here's what I want you to do I want you just to ask the Lord Lord is there a sin in my life that I am attached to I'm not going to ask you to say it out loud is there a sin that your heart is like I don't know if I can let that go. And you think about this sin. These are really direct questions. But do you feel sorrow because you're sinning? Do you actually feel sorrow that you're grieving the Father? Because if you don't, you need to have a change of affection. You see, this sin should begin to bother you. This sin should begin to stir in your heart. Today I was in one of your markets in Bujumbura. And some of our friends were buying bracelets. And right away, the Holy Spirit highlighted a person. And she was just sitting back there real quiet. And the Holy Spirit said, go talk to her. So as I began to talk to her, the Lord said, just ask her. The Lord said, just ask her right to the point. And I said, do you have anything you need to repent of? And she quietly just put her head down. She didn't really want to say anything. There was too many people in the room. 
actually asked some people to leave. And she said, I don't know where to start. The list is too long, she said. And I said, I'm not here to expose you, but I want to free you. And I said, just tell me one sin you need to repent of. And real quietly, she kind of had her head down because I knew her heart was beginning to change. She says, I'm an adulterer. And I looked her in the eyes. And I said, by you beginning to repent of this sin, God can free you. You see, what had happened was, is in her mind, having marital affairs with another wife's husband, in her mind, she had said, ah, that's okay. And her affection was for that guy. But when you repent, you have to begin to declare, that's not right. When you repent, you have to begin to say, that's not of God. When you repent, you have to say that's sin. And when you recognize it's sin, your heart affection for those things that are drawing you in.
because of your repentance, I'm going to heal your heart. But if you will worship me, he's going to heal the heart of the white man. He's going to heal the heart Let us worship. Let us worship.